My name is Jake England. I'm normally the guy filming the Ask Nor 40 show, but today we got a question about how to clean your camping gear. Turns out I just got back from a five day float on the Smith River here in Montana. The trip was amazing. We got a little wet, a little sun, but the gear is definitely in need of some cleaning. So we're gonna talk about how to properly clean your tent and sleeping bag. So first thing, we're gonna be washing a sleeping bag. Now there's a lot of particular things to pay attention to when washing your sleeping bag to ensure that you don't damage the fabric. First thing is be sure to use a front loading machine. Top loading machines have an agitator and the agitator can actually damage the sleeping bag. So always ensure to use a front loading machine. First step is to make sure your bag is turned inside out and zipped up all the way. Instead of using a traditional detergent to wash your sleeping bag, I recommend using a specific cleaner based on the material that the sleeping bag is made out of. In this case, we have two options from Nick Wax that I picked up from North 40. The first is a tech wash for a synthetic, or what we're gonna use today is a down wash for down sleeping bags. When it comes to this is you wanna empty out all of the existing detergent buildup from inside your wash machine. Make sure to wash it out real nice, get the rest of that soap, detergent, bleach, fabric softener, all that out. I even like to take and dab out any extra soap or bleach that could be in the dispenser. So then we're gonna add about five fluid ounces of the down wash Nick Wax, just right to the washer. That is a little more than two caps full. After adding the detergent, you're gonna throw the sleeping bag in. Just remember it's inside out and fully zipped up. Then we are gonna turn it on gentle, delicate. We're gonna do a cold temperature, low spin cycle with extra rinse. So, the sleeping bag just finished in the washer. Um, one note is when taking the bag out of the washer to put in the dryer, be sure to lift the bag evenly so you don't clump the down. Now, tumble dry in a large commercial dryer. Make sure that the bag has enough room to move freely as it dries. One more trick is to use clean tennis balls in with the dryer to help keep the down from clumping up as it dries. We got some clean North 40 tennis balls here. Just throw those in there. Now to dry, what you wanna do is you wanna turn it on to a timed tumble dry. You want it to run for about an hour on low heat and then start. After the first hour, be sure to check your bag. Make sure it's not clumping up anywhere. Kind of massage it out. See how dry it is. You really want to make sure that insulation's dry. I think we're going to take this and put this one back in for another hour. So after the bag's been in the dryer, pull it out. Check it to make sure it still feels dry. Also check it to make sure the down hasn't clumped up at all. If so, kind of puff it back out. And then what you want to do is you want to hang it for another one to two hours just to make sure the down is completely dry on the inside. After that, store it in your mesh bag. You don't want to store it in a travel bag. You want to store it in the mesh bag so it has room to breathe and you don't compact the down. After that, pull it out, put in your travel bag and you're good to go camping. So what we have here is the two Mountain Hardware optic tents that we used on our last Smith trip. We ran into a little rain, so we decided to set them up in the garage to help let them air out. 
You do not want to store your tents wet. They will mold or mildew. To clean your tent, what I first like to do is use a small dustpan and brush to sweep up any debris that gets in your tent. After that, I use a warm sponge to help clean the bottom. If you decide to clean the whole tent, what you want to do is clean it in a tub of cold water. Whatever you do, do not machine wash your tent. It will damage or destroy your tent. If you choose to use the soap on your tent, use a non-detergent gentle soap. junk I just swept out of my tent. And if you have a footprint under your tent, don't forget to clean your footprint because it's probably the dirtiest part. So after you finish washing down your tents, be sure to leave them in a well-ventilated area or outside in the shade to dry. So that's it for episode 24 of the Ask North 40 show. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, get them to us using the hashtag AskNorth40 at any of our social platforms. Follow us on Snapchat at North40Life. And if you hit the link below, you'll subscribe to an email list. We will send you each episode new every week. Yeah.